Give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. Yes, yes, we yes. bid you <laughs> greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We love you and we're so honored that you have tuned in to the Spice of Life Variety Show. We bring you greetings from West Angeles Church and the Bishop Charles C. Blake and the First Lady Mae Blake. And from all of us to each one of you, we want you to know that we love you, love you, love you, and it's nothing that you can do about that. Uh, grab your pen and your paper because at the conclusion of the show, we're going to show you our email address, our um, fax, phone number, etc., so that you can contact us if you so choose. You might want to contact our guests. You might want to submit your prayer request. We just want to hear from you. Your show comments, we just want to hear from you. And so again, welcome to this very special uh, showing, and you don't want to miss a drop. Well, certainly for those regular viewers, and we certainly pray and know that we have regular viewers. Yes. <laughs> we have, uh, you know that I'm not alone, but I do have my uh, precious co-host with me in the person of Evangelist Pamela Webb. And so, Pamela, how you doing, girl? I'm great. great. How you doing, Dr. Lewis? I'm doing just With your too. red on. Hey. What's going on with you? We're just trying to represent. Ah, <laughs> all right. We have a good topic today. Okay. What is that? My many hats. Oh my, don't even talk about it. I get tired of ah, hearing that. Many, yes, many, many hats. hats. Okay. Yes. Well, since we're not alone. <laughs> That's right. And we're not the only ones who have hats. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's just also introduce our guests. Yes, right. yes, yes, yes. Well, to my immediate left, we have a beautiful, charming, um, wonderful uh, woman, wife, and uh, mother, et cetera, et cetera, yes. et cetera, oh, and the person of First Lady Stacy Andrews. Welcome. Thank you so much, Such Dr. a Lewis. beautiful, Bless beautiful you. smile. Bless you. Thank you. And then join the three of us, mm -hmm. we have a wonderful a songbird, psalmist, <laughs> wife, <laughs> woman, wife, and mother, and the person Many of things. First Lady oh, Cynthia Ross. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. Thank so you. happy to have each thank one you. of you. and. Um, of course, just by the fact that we are women, we mm. know we have many yes. hats. Many yes. hats. <laughs> Not just one. That's right. Have many <laughs> hats. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we, can, you know, in, inquiring minds kind of want to know, where do you hail from? Are you, are you from Los Angeles? Where are you from? I'm a native of California. Are I was you born really? in San Jose, California. Wow, yeah. up north, huh? Up north. No wonder oh. you're down south. <laughs> <laughs> Been here all my life. <laughs> you know, weather in the hills oh, yeah. keeps me down oh, south, yeah. okay? Uh -huh. Wonderful. Absolutely. So San Jose. San Jose, California. Okay. Yeah. And so since you have been, you were born there, but you were raised here. In Southern California. Okay. Yeah. All right uh -huh. then. What California. about you, First Lady Ross? I'm from the Midwest. They call me a Southern girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm from St. Louis. St. Louis. All right. A Southern girl, and I can cook. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? You can yes, burn. What well, makes sense? Cook. You can, can burn. Yes, I can. All right. <laughs> and you look like that. You keep your weight wow. down. Well, I have I'm a hating. secret. Oh, okay. Well, because I wear so many mini hats. You <laughs> <laughs> got to go with the mini hats. That's, all right. that's good. That's good. That is so good because I, I applaud you for that's being right. able to do that. That's Amen. Right. Now, um, now you talked about you were born there and raised here in Southern California. Mm -hmm. Kind of describe your childhood. What was that about? You know, I had a very enriching childhood. I adored going to school. I was somewhat of a home girl, you know, I was wholesome, I, I liked being part of the school society, I was in the pep club and drill team, I was student body president. Mm, wow. At both your at junior high and high school. school. Uh -huh. wow. And I just, I liked school. Oh, and that was fine. Uh, that's a good that's thing. That's a good thing. It was I, a good I, thing. And our viewing on this, hear that again. Yes. Yes. You school like school. Stay in school. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. Exactly. That's yes. wonderful. Uh -huh. yeah. And so, uh, and, and sibling-wise? I have one brother and one sister. What do you fit? 
I'm the middle child. Oh, you're the oh, middle child? Uh -huh. Really? I'm the middle child. I would not have known that, seriously. Oh, yeah. I am my mother's odd child. Okay. I'm the odd one. Mm. Odd in a good way, in though. In a good way. <laughs> in a good <laughs> way. I am. Well, I never yeah. would have known that, really. Yeah. Guess that. Mm -hmm. What about you, First Lady Ross? Well, I wasn't favorite of school, but you know what I'm saying? I went because I had to go, all right. I had to go. No, okay. You had to go. I had to go. I had to go. But uh, I was very athletic. Uh -huh. And I was, um, got presidential awards and things of that nature. Mm. Okay. Um, and I enjoyed school for that reason. Okay. And so I found something that wow. kept me occupied. Uh -huh. And um, I really enjoyed doing that. So, And then I sang a lot in school, too. Uh -huh. So that also made it worthwhile for me. So I really enjoyed that. Right. And I'm the oldest. Um, I'm the oldest daughter, uh, and it's three of us. I have uh, two sisters and one brother, oh. and so I'm the oldest. So oh. I enjoyed being the oldest. So I had a lot of responsibilities at a very early age. So it was pretty tough for me to grow mm. up. So, but I grew from doing all those, we have, mm -hmm. having all those responsibilities. So that just made me a better person. Mm -hmm. right. So that when I became a wife uh -huh. and a uh, helper, uh, uh, <laughs> help you know, that helped me yeah. to be a little more disciplined, mm -hmm. okay. and so that really helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. What, what so. uh, athletically, what were you involved in? Well, I did track, I played basketball, <laughs> really? I played a little hockey. Um, that's oh, yeah, she, that's yeah. why. That, hey, that's yeah. a secret. Yeah. That's why yeah. she can yeah. cook and yeah. eat and take the Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so. Um, I really enjoyed being athletic because that really kept me together. Oh, okay. It kept me in school and kept me pretty much focused. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. And okay. that was real important during mm -hmm. that time. And of course, we can wow. testify how you can sing. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you can sing. sing. <laughs> well, I really appreciate that. Yeah, I, I, I just really appreciate it because singing was a way of life for me then mm -hmm. and it is now. And so mm -hmm. it's just something that I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy. But singing for Christ is a whole lot better than singing for anybody oh, else. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. so, wow. and, and you know what? And that is uh, communicated through your music, yes, you know, in, in the settings mm -hmm. that we have had the honor of mm -hmm. sitting in and 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 uh, and um, hearing you go forth, you know, that's communicated mm -hmm. to us. And so, thank that's you so much. Thing. I really appreciated mm -hmm. that you mm -hmm. appreciate the music that we of do. Course. We do. So much. Of course, of course. Yeah. I appreciate as a, that. As a child, what did you desire to do in life? You know what? Initially, I wanted to become an attorney, so I took classes in college, geared toward that direction. But the Lord took me in another direction. Mm -hmm. So now I'm an advocate for God, mm -hmm. Jesus, and the Holy Ghost. All right, right. now. <laughs> you know, and so you're still yeah. an attorney. She's still oh, yes. <laughs> I stay in the courtroom with God. The power of I stay in the oh, courtroom with God. You're still an attorney, huh? yes, you, you just represent oh, different, you know, right. different, different parties. That's right. And you know what, and, and sometimes people don't understand that uh, really and truly what we desire uh, is it, it does kind of fall in line yes, with what, what we, the ultimate plan for our life yes, because right. really and truly you are being an attorney. You mm -hmm. are, in a sense, pleading his case among those who don't know the Lord right. and mm -hmm. his love and truth. Yes, exactly. And I feel like I am an advocate for the kingdom. Yes, So yes, I'm still yes. out there yes. trying to uh -huh. win people yes, mm -hmm. yes. justice in heaven. Yes. <laughs> I'm yes. trying to wow. the right road. Yes. Yes. But the difference is mm -hmm. in this mm -hmm. is that mm -hmm. uh, your, your, your pay will carry over oh, to yes. eternity. Oh, yes. You know, you'll always be paid for always. what you're doing right here, yeah. right yeah. now. Always. Versus yeah. if it was just an attorney. It's no reflection on the attorney, because right. mm -hmm. Lord know we need those on oh, this yes. side. Yes, yes, But if, it, if you were just an attorney in the courtroom, then your pay would be just here. That's mm -hmm. right. And not every day not of eternal. the rest of your wow. life in eternity, right. girl. That's mm -hmm. deep, honey. Yes. Yes. That deep? That's awesome. deep, honey. What did you want to be? Well, I wanted to be a professional athlete at first. Okay. And some things happened when I was 15 and 16 years old that prevented that from happening. Okay. I became a, a young mother. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. And so I have a, an adult son. Mm -hmm. And so that steered my life a little bit differently. Okay. And so I went to a community college and things of that nature to gain a skill so mm -hmm. that I could provide for uh -huh. this child. Mm -hmm. And I began to sing and travel mm. and things of that nature. But I was singing secular music. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And so God visited me mm. and I had to get my act together because I started in church. And so I had to really get it together and start singing for Christ again. And so I never knew that he would take me out of the world and <laughs> wow. put me back wow. the way he did. Way he did. Oh, and so hallelujah. I'm still surprised. Yeah. I'm really still surprised today. 
I'm really surprised because I never had a visit from God mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. indicating, you know how people tell you all the time, well, God talked to me. Right. Told uh -huh. me. Right. Well, I never had a visit right. from God like mm -hmm. that. Right. But I understood through reading his word mm -hmm. that I was supposed to give him back what he gave, what he wow. gave to you. Wow. And I was supposed to minister See. to him. And I never thought I'd fit in because See. I didn't sing traditional mm -hmm. gospel music. Right. And I didn't holler and scream because it sounded real good. Okay. But I couldn't do that. <laughs> I, I, so I didn't think I fit in. Mm -hmm. But the spirit of God ministered to me and I was supposed to minister to his people mm -hmm. and prepare their hearts yes. for worship and take them yes. before the throne of God. Yes. And so I just want to be obedient. See? Mm -hmm. wow. you know what? I just want to be obedient. You have laid forth several lessons and mm -hmm. in, in, in our mm -hmm. principles and nuggets, mm -hmm. just what mm -hmm. you said. Number one, uh, because I was a young mother also, okay. and I have a 34-year-old son. I know I, you only thought I was 34, <laughs> but I have a 34-year-old son. <laughs> right. But, but, but nevertheless, whatever our, our road that you go down, don't just lay down and Absolutely. just, and just accept it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Get right. up, up and come mm -hmm. back and fight like you have. Look at you, look at you today. And you know, Lord. it's all paid off. Look at, you right. know, look at us today. Right. Right. We've had to overcome some hurdles in our life. Right. And so we didn't just wake up like this and what we didn't it? just go through yeah. life like this. Mm -hmm. No. Walking over hurdles right. got us to this point. Oh, yes. And then you were also talking about how um, the, the joy that you get from singing uh, for, the, for the kingdom of God. You know, it's just amazing. It's nothing like it mm. <laughs> because it comes from the inside out. And when you sing for Christ, it's almost as if people are involved <laughs> in the atmosphere with you mm -hmm. and they're just getting in on what you do all, all the time. The time. It's not that you do yes. that because you get in front of people. It's something uh -huh. that is a lifestyle for you and that you worship God on a regular basis mm -hmm. and people get a chance to enjoy that mm -hmm. and, and that's just how I personally feel. Mm -hmm. yes. And so yes. a lot of times I feel like I'm by myself when I minister because I go somewhere special mm -hmm. because I'm not wow. trying to prove to you how wow. great I am. See. I'm but just trying tell. to minister See. Wow. See. to the Lord, that's all. Mm. And but, but isn't that a spiritual mm -hmm. truth in that is an individual our, 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 inter, our relationship, relationship with the yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. So really no matter is. if you're in a room full of people, right. it, it still is an inter, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, individual mm -hmm. relationship. Mm -hmm. it is. And, and we and, and until we get to that point to where I don't care how many of you are around, it's just about you mm -hmm. and me. Yes, yes, it is. I, I, yes, I don't even is. see y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could care less yeah. about they do it. Yeah, right. But then then we have really mm -hmm. have an inner to real yeah. worship and, yes. and relationship. Mm -hmm. yes, See, it's, we're not talking about just going to church on Sunday. We're not talking about just knowing us. Lifestyle. But we're talking about living a lifestyle like, yes. of, of, of devotion mm -hmm. to, to the Lord Jesus yes. Christ. Absolutely. That's awesome, huh? Yes. But isn't it good that we can be transparent? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. absolutely. Because mm -hmm. people think that we've arrived. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we right. have a past. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -mm. Yes. Yes. And right. telling people about our past mm -hmm. help our viewing audience. Yes. Mm -mm. God is good. Like yeah. yes. All the time. You got a plan for everybody. Yes. Right. Amen. 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 And it's Amen. a precious plan. Mm -hmm. It is. And you know what? Now, I wish I could sing like you. I wish I could be as articulate yes. as you are. But that's yes. not who I am. Right. Right. You are uh, Cynthia mm -hmm. Ross. Mm -hmm. You are Stacey Andrews. Mm -hmm. I'm Tanya Lewis. This is Pamela Well. Mm -hmm. But each one of us are beautiful and we're not a mistake. Mm -hmm. The Lord gave us each a yeah. purpose. Individual. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and a beautiful purpose. Right. Just because I can't mm -hmm. hold a note don't mean that I'm, I'm less than you. That's right. And just because you don't wear red, you don't have on red, mm -hmm. that don't mean that you're less than me. That's it's right. just that we are all perfect mm -hmm. in our right. own creation. We are not a mistake. No. We are right. fearfully no. and wonderfully, wonderfully made. We somebody, y'all. Power to us for somebody. <laughs> all right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> now, from the title of the show, we're talking about uh, you are a woman, wife, mother, employee, employee, or et cetera, sister, <laughs> daughter, et cetera, and the list goes on. How do you, the woman, handle the great demands on your life? First with you. Well, I just take one thing at a time. I can only do one thing at a time. <laughs> and I have teenage sons. Okay. <laughs> and to me, I'm going to talk about being a teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I have sons, mm -hmm. I want them to respect women. Yes. Yes. I want them yes. to be able to provide for this woman when wow. they call themselves mm -hmm. going to have yes. one. Thank you. And I'm, we're teaching mm -hmm. abstinence, and people laugh. Yes. Mm -hmm. But we're teaching abstinence yes. because they yes. have to have something to draw from. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. And we're teaching them how to cook. Mm -hmm. We're teaching them how to save mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. Teaching them. My my husband is a professional musician as okay. well as a preacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, he has the ability to teach music, and he teaches them music. Oh, wonderful. And so now they have a gift that wonderful. can provide wow. for them for the yes. rest. Wow. Their lives. Their lives. All the time. Oh. And so 
Mm -hmm. I'm in the teaching mode oh, so wow. that we could teach them how to yes. provide for themselves and teach yes. them how to love God. Yes. 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 And teach them yes. how to pray for themselves because in this environment that they're they in, they have to be able to know how to pray right. for mm -hmm. themselves yes. and pray for somebody mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. And they have to be some kind of example. Yes. yes. They cannot yes. be in the same crowd. They have to be a leader. Yes. Hello. They can't be a follower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we're That's just, I, I just take mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. part That's of being a teacher as a mother, the most important part because mm -hmm. we have teenage boys mm -hmm. and we have to teach them in a way yes. that reflects who we really are in Christ. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Not yes. what we have yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. and yes. not what we don't yes. have. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Not yes. what we don't yes. have, yes. but what God has given yes. us on yes. the inside mm -hmm. to impart mm -hmm. into others and it starts in our family Amen. first. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And I really take that job really mm -hmm. to heart That's awesome. and very, very, very serious because I want them to be accountable young men, mm -hmm. young men who desire to serve Christ in the right way mm -hmm. right. and have a wife and not a girlfriend, mm -hmm. not a sleeping yeah. partner. Uh -huh. I'm not saying that they're not going to do it, but that's what we're doing right now. We're teaching and that's what we're called to do is teach. Mm -hmm. They have a choice. Yes, they, they have to know a right from wrong. Right. Exactly. You know, you know, it's a shame when we don't have a choice right. in, in our decision. Mm -hmm. right. But see, I, but see, mm -hmm. we are gearing our children and our grown. Well, mm -hmm. in my case, my grown children right. uh, to have to to have choices and to make solid to make choices. choices. And even mm -hmm. when they're making the wrong choice, I still proclaim in their life, they in shall Jesus be mighty name. men yeah, of God. Right. You don't have to preach because mm -hmm. because He didn't call all of us to mm -hmm. preach. Right. But you shall be mighty mm -hmm. men in the kingdom of God. That's right. You shall walk in what God has called you to walk in. See, I I served notice to the devil that he never should have let me have the first child birth pain. I never should have had the first child birth pain. After that, oh, it was all, oh, you ain't got nothing that's coming to this body. They shall be men of God. And so, and so, yes, that is a privilege that we have to train them up in the way that they should go and to gear their minds and to guide their minds. How many sons do you have? Well, I have three. I love that number. I have three. I have an older son uh, who has a family. Okay. And then I have two teenage young men. Uh -huh. And so, you know, that's a challenge. Yeah, it is a and challenge. And so I'm so glad that my husband is in the home. <laughs> and not only in the home, he's present. See? And he's heard very clearly. Mm. And so that means that he backs oh, up whatever yeah. mm -hmm. that I say. And mm. he... Um, he walks alongside me that's as we raise support. these sons. Yeah. And so all we can do is do our very best that's and trust we, God to do that. And so that's, that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. That's, all that's really do. what we're doing. I love that number three because I have three sons <laughs> okay. also. All right. what, are your, what are the ages of your sons? Well, now the oldest one is 30 something. Okay. 30 -something. And now we have, a, we have 30 something. And then, we have, and then we have a 15 and a 16 year old. So okay. they're in a real interesting age right now okay. because we have to really be there for them oh, and yeah. tell them the truth. Yes. And that's right. Tell them the plain yes. truth. Uh -huh. And I know yes. it doesn't sound good, but we're going to yes. tell you the yes. truth. Yes. And we have a responsibility as mothers and African American mothers yes. to make try and make men out of our boys oh, yes. uh -huh. because we don't have a lot of men. Mm -hmm. And we want to keep them out of trouble, so we yeah, gotta right. mm -hmm. we have to show them and, and be examples, mm -hmm. yeah. and not do as I say do, but do as I do. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so we're just trying to be good examples. Mm -hmm. That's all. And so we lean on people like the sister here <laughs> and, her, and our strong pastor husband, right. because we want to put them in environments whereby they can grow uh -huh. and they can become stronger Amen. individuals. Yeah. And yeah. so that's, that's right. just all that's we're wise. doing. That's we that's just have right. a desire to do what's right. That's uh -huh. why. And trust God. That's yeah. why. I know Pamela Absolutely. has a daughter. And you have a son, oh, and have I have three. Mm -hmm. So that's three, six. That's eight children oh, right yes. here. Right that you know what? That can go into the ends of the world. Make an and, impact. And, and, and oh my mm. God, change like never make an impact. And mm -hmm. you know what? Uh, while we're talking, I'm, we're coming to you, mm -hmm. first lady Stacey. But um, one of the things that come to my mind is that I've literally had to tell, ask mothers, help me to help my sons respect your daughter. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. You know. I mean. Mm. You know. Girls, don't call the guys like you lost your mind. Mm -hmm. Get right. a line. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. don't act as though that you can't go on. You, Without you know, this person. Right. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Don't be a doormat. Mm -hmm. Know that they have right. choices. Right. Our daughters need to know they have choices. Absolutely. And it's not, and, and they're not just complete only when they have a man right. besides mm -hmm. them. You can, uh, com, you can find completeness within God and within yourself. Right. Absolutely. Because a man should not validate who you are exactly. as a woman. Exactly. No. They just shouldn't. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to think it was okay I bring my 50% and right. he bring his 50% mm -hmm. and then we can be a whole no. the devil is a lie no, I bring right. my 100 you bring your 100, 100. Yeah. That's right. That's right. then we can really be a whole that's right that's right, that's right. That's right. That's right. right. how do you mm -hmm. handle all this going on in your life you know what I prioritize okay. I have to and my priorities change at the drop of a hat <laughs> I, I can sense when my husband flexible. really needs me okay you know uh -huh. spiritually as a wife as a woman mm -hmm. You know, and with my 11-year-old son, 
there's something, there's a connection that he and I have. Well, I always tell Simeon, we share the same heart. Mm -hmm. I know when he's hurting, uh -huh. and I know when there is a facade up, where mm -hmm. he's trying to camouflage mm -hmm. something because he's trying to be a little oh, tough yeah. guy, mm -hmm. because his father is a manly man. He tries to live up to that, right. but right. I know manly when that little man. boy mm -hmm. needs his mommy. Mm -hmm. So I, I try to keep, it's a fine dance that mm -hmm. you have to dance between all of this. Yes. So I just try to be loving to both of them and understand their needs. Mm. And so my priorities change uh -huh. all the time. You know what's going to be mm. really cute to you, and I know, uh, first of all, Russ, you've experienced this, and I know I've experienced this uh, with my 34 and I have a 22 and a 21-year-old, is that when these big old grown men uh, reflect the fact that they are mama boys. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, how much of a man they are. Yeah. You know, there's a trait. There's uh, a point. Exactly. Yeah. That they, you know, that, yes. that, that little boy in uh -huh. them comes yes. out. And yeah. I, I mm, love it. I Cause we, cause, because we are supposed to be there for them. Uh, yes. right. You know, Absolutely. we're not just family until they get 18 years right. old. Right. We're fa old. We are family <laughs> until we die. We have, right. Because we, we all did. need each other. Yes, we do. You know, we never grow to the point where I don't need my immediate family or my extended family. We are family until we right. die. That's right. Now you are also a wife, mm. wife of a pastor. We want to know how do they propose? How do pastors propose? <laughs> how, do they, <laughs> how do pastors do that? I thought they were just only thought about the Lord all the time. <laughs> you know what? My husband proposed to me in front of his whole family in oh. Alabama. Oh. It, uh, did it take you by surprise? <laughs> yes, it did. Oh. And I was sitting there like this. <laughs> I loved him when I first met him. Aww. I never knew he was a pastor. Okay. I knew that there was something different about mm. him. And he invited me to his church and I went and mm -hmm. they were saying, Pastor Andrews, Pastor Andrews. And I didn't, I didn't even know his last name. <laughs> <laughs> he was a willy to me. Uh -huh. And he stood up from behind the altar in this white robe. Mm. She said, oh. <laughs> and I looked, she said, <laughs> and I said, oh, my Lord. Oh, wow. But I, I had a prophecy wow. at 16 that I would be a pastor's wife. Wow. 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 Mm. They described him to a T. Wow. Really? They described six, him to a T. My goodness. My, my. So the Lord allowed me to wait on him. Mm. And I did that, and I have been happy ever wow. since. Wow, that's wow. wonderful. Yes. Wow. Because, mm. because because the one that, that didn't fit that description, you already knew. Right. Turn that, that page. Wouldn't fit. Turn that page. Turn that page. And there were many counterfeits that came. See, but I waited. Mm. And it was a good wait. <laughs> wait on the Lord. I did. Wait wait on the that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, exactly. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. That's another one. Mm -hmm. Since a whole lot of luckers being it's dropped. Right in here. Yes. Up in here. Mm -hmm. Don't Absolutely. just run and get the first pair. Yes. Wait, on, hands. The wait right. on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. First lady Ross. <laughs> oh, you know, my husband really did proposed to me. He just came and got me. Yes. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. He came and got me from a church. Oh, okay. He okay. really did. Okay. And and I was in a position to say, um, you know, Father, remove this from me. This is not a thing. And I wanted to give him to an evangelist friend of mine. Okay. Well, because she was really spiritual. Okay. And I was like, I hadn't come all the way Me, in. I know. I was born and raised in the church, but I was doing my thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Serving God on Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Like, God okay. had been dealing with my oh, heart. Yeah. Okay. And so when he wanted to marry me, I said, now, you know, I oh. don't know. I'm not the one. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm really being serious yeah. because I didn't think that I was good enough. I didn't think I was um, worthy and, either. And then when you say a first, no, let's I don't know. put the first lady title on me. Mm -hmm. Just say I'm his helpmate mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. then you put me in another category. So he came mm. and got me. Mm. And we've been married for almost 17 years. That was a good thing. We met in October and got married in December. Mm -hmm. So it is true. He that finds the, the wife. Really. The good thing. Thing. And so mm -hmm. that was really interesting mm -hmm. for me because I had done a lot of things. I've been mm -hmm. a lot of places. Mm -hmm. And so when he came, and I was like, well, okay, Lord. Because mm -hmm. that's who I talked to. Because uh -huh. I wasn't listening to him. All right. mm -hmm. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because right. I got into that point where right. I've done so many things as an adult right. that my life needed to change. And yeah. I needed to hear from God. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. I really didn't need right. to hear from God. Because mm -hmm. right. all your friends say, well, you didn't try it out. Well, no. Mm -hmm. I'm grown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And those days are over with. At yes. some point in your life, you have to stop 
stop that mm. circle. Right. right. Yeah. And you have uh -huh. to decide that you're going to do things God's way yeah. or mm -hmm. you're not going to do them at all. Oh, exactly. yeah. Hang and so place. that's what I decided to do. So mm -hmm. there was no premarital sex or none mm -hmm. of that trying it out. See? I believe oh, that God, a nugget. There's uh, a nugget. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I believe that God put us together. He was going to work that thing mm -hmm. out. All right. And that's just all something right. I personally believe. Mm -hmm. To this day, when, when I find we have problems, I just get before God. God, you did this. Hello. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I'm really that serious. man God, you, you gave, gave this. Mm -hmm. right. That man you mm -hmm. gave me. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And so I trust that God is going to work mm -hmm. it out for me. And am I going to wait? Yes. And I'm going to have mm -hmm. patience? Yes. All right. mm -hmm. And I'm just going to trust that he's going to work it out for me. Mm -hmm. That's all I can tell you. Mm -hmm. oh, that's, wow. that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Wow. Now, we've talked about, uh, we, we've gone to the last uh, few minutes of the show, a couple of minutes of the show. We talked about wife and, and woman and mother. Uh, well, what about a pastor's wife? Uh, well, you, you've kind of mm -hmm. referenced that. Mm -hmm. How is that for you as a pastor's wife? You know, this is a new experience uh, for me. What I do know is that leadership may not always be perfect, but it must be godly. I want the women in my church and other saints to understand that we're human, that we're mm -hmm. subject to error. We may mm -hmm. fail. We may not make a good decision yes. mm -hmm. in your eyesight. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. when you're waiting and hearing on the Lord, no. it may yeah. not agree with your agenda, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's what the Lord has told That's us to do. Uh -huh. So I need for people to understand that, that part of us, that there is a human side, but there is a spiritual side mm -hmm. to us. Mm -hmm. And that's how we operate. That's how we mm. move throughout the kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know, this kingdom down here right, right, until uh -huh. we get to our to heavenly get, kingdom. Sure. That's how we operate. Mm -hmm. you know? Wow. wow. Mm -hmm. What is uh, what, what blesses your heart about uh, about being the, a pastor's wife? Well, I don't like to say that I'm a pastor's wife. I like to say that I'm a helpmate. Okay, help me. Because my uh, concept is is that I have to see about him okay. mm -hmm. and what he desires and what he needs okay. and so I have to try to have his back on every mm -hmm. count okay. you know whether it's with working with other people leadership mm -hmm. but I have to be his helpmate so that's what I consider myself so so that I could be kind of like whatever he needs mm -hmm. at whatever at given time, time. Mm -hmm. okay. cuz I'm a really good nurse okay. I'm, a, I'm a good provider mm -hmm. I got your back mm -hmm. you know and I can stand up for you and I can sit back and let you be who you need to be mm -hmm. so I focus more on being his helpmate okay. so that I could be what he needs when he okay. needs it. and so if that other stuff comes around I can handle that uh -huh. but my main focus right. is him uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's, that, that's, that's just my focus. main focus. That's yeah. him. focus. Mm -hmm. Now we're down to the last moment of the show. Okay. In a nutshell, what would be your final thought and what would be your final thought? I want people to know, and this is something you and I touched on earlier, that there is a war cry out there for the warriors of the Lord and you, we're running out of time. And we really mm. need to get on the battlefield and save as many souls as we can and to just lead by example, mm -hmm. because some of them may not make it in. Right. We oh, may be the God. only God-like figure that they see. Wow. So I want them to see God in me daily. Mm -hmm. I agree mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. What about you, First Lady? For those of us who say we are Christians and Christ-like and following Christ is to do what he says to do. Mm -hmm be obedient to God's word Amen. so that he can get a job done because mm. that's what he needs. He doesn't need what you think, what you feel. He needs a job done mm. and we just need to be submissive to that. Amen. Mm. To you all, if you're in the audience, we just want you to know that we have had a wonderful time yes, we have. just having a little chit chat you. around the fireplace. Yeah. We do share Jesus with you. We extend invitation uh, to seek out the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Ask him to come into your Lord heart and ask yes. him to change your life. Ask him to blow your mind. Yeah. Uh, for those of us yeah. who have many hats, know that we've been given the strength to do whatever God has allowed us to do yeah. and whatever he's placing our hands to do. Just make sure it's him placing things That's in our right. hand and not us taking things on. Mm -hmm. Until Amen. next time, know that we love you, we praise God for you, and we bless you and take care. Amen. God bless you. Amen. I'm my wow. mini hat. That's what we're talking about. Mini hat.